Gentlemen, when it comes to the 4th of July, there's no self-respecting holiday food tour guide who would leave this place off his list. The hot dog was invented right here in Coney Island, right across the street at Feltman's famous, Charles Feltman, 1874. And, and what he did was he took the Frankfurter, something from his culture back in Germany, brought it over here, put a little American rub on it, added a bun that you could take with it so it was portable. And then one of his employees, Nathan Handworker, uh, decided that uh, you know these dogs have been selling for 10 cents. He could uh, he could sell them for five and uh, maybe make a little better of a profit. It was Nathan's famous that that brought the hot dog and the holiday of Fourth of July together because of this hot dog eating competition. It was a competition to see who's the most patriotic, who's the most American, who could eat the most hot dogs. Since 1916, when the hot dog eating contest started here, and it was basically just the Handworker family versus this young yeah. upstart, you know, Jim Mullen, a guy who set the first record with 13 hot dogs and buns in 12 minutes. This area has just been known as a mecca on the 4th of July. So we're gonna do this hot dog eating competition today. That's right. Yeah. And we're gonna put you up against a guy named Eric Badlands Booker. Rockstar status, y'all. Unbelievable competitive eater, a yeah. man with four rap albums all about competitive eating. It's gonna be a big moment. I wish you the best. Okay, so let's Ready? go do it. Let's, let's meet do the it. man. Bad man's baby. Eric, Badlands Booker. Famous Bad Dave. What's good, homie? I have to say I'm starstruck. I'm starstruck. Aww. You're a hero. Oh, I appreciate that. You're a hero man. to me. I've been doing this contest for 10 years now. A couple of years ago, they were at this big wall of fame with all the classic eaters and yeah. Just me with Kobayashi facing each other, I mean. Eyeball to eyeball. Exactly, it brought tears to my eyes. What does it take to be a competitive eater? Well, it takes four things. It takes stomach capacity, it takes strategy, it takes stamina, and a strong, focused mind. What I call being hungry and focused. It's stay hungry, focused, badlands, I wrote this. My personal best is 30 and a half hot dogs and buns, which is. 30 and a half? Yeah, 12 minutes, which is it's pretty decent now. I mean, Joey Chestnut ate 66, you know, that is just like, yeah. Unbelievable. He beat the great Kobayashi, which yeah. I thought I'd never live to see. Yeah. We're going to go up against each other today, right? Hey, I'm down for a challenge. I'm going to do it for America. I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to do it for the love of the game. Seven hot dogs in three minutes. That's my goal. Three, two, one, eat! Here it is, Famous Fat Dave versus Eric Badlands Booker, one of the greatest competitive eaters on the planet. Famous Fat Dave, more of a distance eater, I believe. We are 43 seconds into the competition. Eric Badlands Booker already on his fourth hot dog and bun. Famous Fat Dave on his first hot dog. Almost looks like he's here for a free lunch. Three, two, one. Done! Put down your dogs. 11 hot dogs and buns for yeah. Mr. Eric Badlands Booker <laughs> in three minutes. Famous Bat Dave, two and a half hot dogs and buns in three minutes. Not bad. All right. There it is. A lot of love between these two gurgitators. All right, America. Fourth of July. It's holiday foods. Hot dogs. <laughs>